Good morning. Yes, we're back to a Sunday again. And this is the fifth Sunday in Lent, known to us as Passion Sunday, a very sacred time of the year when we focus our attention on the suffering of Jesus and all that he had to go through. You know, I've often wondered why God chose this particular method, why he allowed this to actually happen. And the only conclusion I've ever been able to come to is this. God had a purpose. He wanted to bring children into existence that he could share eternity with. But he didn't want robots. He wanted beings of free will. But however he looked at the plan, however he designed the plan, on every occasion, because they had free will, they would always fall into a state of sin. There was only one thing he could possibly do, and that was to come into his own creation, die on the cross, and offer eternal life to all those who would accept him as Saviour and Lord. The question is, have you done that? You know, I've found many people going to church where they look back and they say, well, I was baptised as an infant. I was confirmed when I was 11 or 12 years of age. I've gone to church on and off over the years. But I've never, ever sat down or gone somewhere in private and said to God quite simply, of my own free will, I accept Jesus as my Saviour and Lord for the forgiveness of my sins and the eternal life that you promise. Have you done it yourself? If you haven't, do it today. And this Passion Tide will be of immense importance because you will be granted eternal life as you do it. Yes, I'm going to sing again. And the hymn I'm going to sing today is Glory Be to Jesus. It's a lovely hymn and it expresses these thoughts completely. Glory be to Jesus, who in bitter pains poured for me his life blood from his sacred veins. Grace and life eternal in that blood I find. Blessed be his compassion, infinitely kind. Blessed through endless ages be the precious stream, which from endless torment did the world redeem. There the fainting spirit drinks of life fulfill. There as in a fountain loves herself at will. Abel's blood for vengeance pleaded to the skies. But the blood of Jesus for our pardon cries. Oft as it is sprinkled on our guilty hearts, Satan in confusion, terror struck departs. Oft as earth exulting wafts its praise on high, angel hosts rejoicing make their glad reply. Lift then all your voices, swell the mighty flood. Louder still and louder, praise the precious blood. Yes, it truly is the blessed blood. 
During these two weeks, we're going to be thinking of Jesus, knowing the price that has to be paid. He'd known it all his life, but now it is coming to that crunch point, that point when he had to do it. Going forward, next Sunday, we're thinking of Palm Sunday, riding down into Jerusalem, claiming his place as Messiah, being examined by the people of the temple where they could find nothing wrong with his teaching but then handed over to be crucified, hanging on that cross. He was God. He knew each one of us. He knew you and he knew me. He knew that he could come off that cross at any moment. You see, it wasn't the nails that held him there. It was because he loved you and because he loves me. He hung on that cross and he died. And as the life just went from his body, he finally was able to say, it is finished. Amen.